What is up, my beautiful, lovely, powerful creators? How are we all doing today? I hope we're all getting our manifestations. There's going to be a lot of noise going on in the background. I apologize, but there's nothing I can do. These construction people are just going, 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 going. And I'm not complaining. Like, let's get this. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So today is going to be a good video. We're going to revisit a little bit more on EIYPO, Everyone Is You Pushed Out and on people who are showing up hot and cold, showing up shitty in your reality, not being exactly who we want them to show up as in our reality. We are not settling for anything. We're gonna go back, revisit EIYPO, and figure out how we can fix these people, change these people, and make them conform. Because we are the operant power, and people do as we tell them to. So what I mean about hot and cold, and this is something that can show up with any type of manifestation, is that something is coming in really hot, like it's you're getting movement, everything's going just according to plan, and then all of a sudden maybe the movement just completely stops or the opposite starts coming in. So why does that happen? Why is somebody showing up, giving a little and then pulling back? being hot and cold in your reality, well, that's happening because of you. However you expect people to show up is how they have to show up in your reality. This is your movie. You're giving them the script. You're telling them how to be. You're choosing the version of this person that is going to show up however, however you're choosing them to show up. I'm not your friend, and I'm not going to sit here and say, you did nothing wrong. Oh, they suck. Oh, you're too good for them. Actually, no, it was all you. It wasn't them at all. And that's not to make you feel bad. I actually want this to be like a liberating moment for you because it means that if you are the reason that they're showing up in this unfavorable way, that means that you get to be the reason why they end up showing up in a favorable way. If you created something bad, guess what? That means you can uncreate it. You can choose the opposite. You can change it. Only you can change it. That's a point about them not having free will. They don't get to choose how they show up. They don't get to decide that they're going to be hot one day and cold the next. You are deciding that. So how are we going to change that? How are we going to make them show up like the hot version we want them to be all the time? You need to really get into your beliefs and real figure out why you have these expectations of them in the first place. Why are you expecting this person to show up the way that they're showing up? Maybe you have a past with this person and they've screwed you over a bunch of times and now you're just expecting them to screw you over again. Or maybe you just have a belief that relationships don't work out for you. We're going to ask ourselves specific questions about why we think they're showing up like that. And that's the reason. That is the reason. Whatever you're telling yourself is the version that you're, you're creating and that you're experiencing. So... When I ask you this question, pause and think for a second and really give it an answer because this is going to help lead you in the first step towards changing this person. Fill in the blanks. My specific person is, what would they say if you reached out to them right now? If you texted them or if you called them, what would they say to you? How would they respond? If you're in no contact right now, or if you're not together right now, in whichever way, form, shape, or form you want to be together, why? Why aren't you at your end goal with them? What do you think they have to say about you behind your back? What would they tell their friends about you? What would they tell their family about you? What are they sitting alone at night and thinking about you. Write down the answers to all of those questions and that should help you figure out where you're going wrong here. Whatever your little block was for any of those questions, affirm the opposite. Why aren't you together? Oh, well, because they think I'm annoying and they don't like spending time with me. Okay. Now we're going to affirm the opposite. SP loves spending time with me. I'm the only person who doesn't annoy him, actually. <laughs> Why aren't you together? Well, their parents just don't want us to be together. Okay, so everyone ships 
our relationship. Everyone loves me and SP together. Me and SP are everyone's favorite couple. You've got to stop thinking whatever it is about them that you're thinking that you don't want to see reflected anymore. That is the only way that you can change a person is by changing your conception of that person. Neville Goddard, segue, <laughs> it just reminded me. To change someone, you must change your conception of them. You must believe them to be the man or woman you want them to be and then mentally see and talk to them as though they were. Believe that they are who you want them to be. You have to literally just recreate them to be the person that you want them to be and it will reflect. They have no choice. That's the version of them that you're choosing. All oh, there are infinite versions. There are versions of your specific person that loves and hates little every every tiny little thing that you can love and hate. And you get to choose exactly what all it is about them that you want to see to create that specific version. They are you pushed out. That is it. They are you. We are all connected in one consciousness. Mentally talk to them through consciousness and tell them how to be. Tell them who to be. Tell them how to show up for you. Not with your words, with your mind. <laughs> I just want to make that clear. <laughs> if any of the old story is coming up, it's very super duper important to cancel out that old story. We're going to rewrite it. We're, we're, we're recreating them. We're rewriting the story. We're making a whole new story around this person. And I know that can be super frustrating if like this person hurt you. But for whatever reason, you're still manifesting them back. So you've got to move past that hurt. You can't just keep seeing them as the person that hurt you because then you're just going to keep experiencing them as that same version of the person who hurt you. Stop holding against them every bad thing that they've ever done. Stop telling your friends stories about them doing bad things to you. Stop thinking about all these conversations that you didn't get to have with them where you tell them off for something bad that they've done to you. Just, you have to drop it. You have to let it go. You have to see them as that perfect version of themselves and then they will show up as that perfect version and then you're gonna have nothing to complain about anymore. You, but you have to be strong, you have to move on, you have to take control and just remember that like, they didn't have a choice to act out in this type of way. Like yes, they are human beings and yes, they can make their own decisions but in your reality, they don't have the free will to do that. You are seeing them as the person who would, ever, who would hurt you. Stop seeing them as someone who could ever hurt you. And believe that. Even if they did, be delusional. No, they didn't. Or just take responsibility. Don't let people walk all over you. Don't let people hurt you. Don't let people abuse you. Don't let yourself get in any toxic relationships and stay in that. You're not responsible for that kind of thing. Like any trauma that you're experiencing, any abuse is not should not be tolerated. That's not what I'm saying at all. But you can't keep seeing yourself as the person who puts up with that or is treated in that way. So if they're still showing up shitty, ask yourself, am I talking about them like they're shitty? Am I expecting them to be shitty? It could even be something as simple as you're wavering as to whether or not you want them or you don't want them. And now that's creating hot and cold behavior because when you want them, okay, now they're going to come in heavy wanting you. But then now you don't want them, so you just kind of want them to leave you alone. Okay, so now they're just leaving you alone. Even just wavering on the fact that you think you can get someone back or you can't get someone back. You're having strong days and you're having super bad days where you think negatively all day. Then you're thinking positively all day. Then you're thinking negatively all day. Over and over and over and over. You're doing it to yourself. Stop doing it. See them as the person that you want them to be and it will reflect. Change how you view this person and it will all work itself out. You've got to really remember to check your thoughts because it could be one of these tiny little annoying things that keeps creeping in as well. It could be literally down to the fact where you're saying that they text you every single day, but every time you check your phone, you think that annoying little thought, they haven't texted me. Why don't they text me? Why isn't he texting me? Check your thoughts and literally flip it right there in that moment and just say he texted you even if he didn't. Like... It could be those little tiny things that you don't even realize you're doing in your brain. You've got to work on your mental diet and keep a look, keep a lookout 
on your thoughts. Keep your thoughts in check. Every single tiny little one, try and catch it. Another thing is you not continuing to affirm and persist after you start getting movement. Once you start getting movement and things are looking really hot, really good for you right now, that doesn't mean that you stop affirming. That doesn't mean that you just like accept, okay, my manifestation's here, here we go. You're still probably gonna be having those thoughts that are coming up in your head telling you the opposite every once in a while and eventually those are gonna catch up. Then you're gonna have to start over again. But if you had just kept affirming in the first place, even though you have what you're affirming for, keep affirming every single day, keep affirming. Even if it's sitting there right in front of your face until you are 1000% confident that this thing is not going to reverse, you know, reverse you and take it back, start over, whatever, keep, keep affirming for it. Don't get yourself stuck in this loop of I persist and then it shows up, then I stop persisting, then it goes away, and then I persist again and then it sh comes back eventually. We're like, don't, don't get yourself stuck in that. Just keep persisting, keep persisting, keep persisting. That's why it's called persisting. But realize this also, you might not be doing anything wrong at all, okay? This could actually all just be part of the unfolding. If you're, if you're wanting like this big change, if you're trying to completely recreate someone or with any manifestation, it can't always happen overnight. It can't always do a 180 overnight. Can it? Absolutely, it is possible. But sometimes it takes a little while for things to balance out or it's gonna take a certain string of events to happen and go along. So you don't get wrapped up in every little thing that might be going wrong. Like with the text message, for example, they could literally be <laughs> busy. They could be sleeping. They could be, I don't fucking know. They just don't, can't think of a response right now because they're so enthralled and they don't want to fuck up and say the wrong thing because you're so perfect. They don't want to ruin it. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> and it's not our job to know. It's not our job to sit there and figure it out. Tell yourself a story that gets you through the moment and keep persisting in the person that you want them to show up for you as. That's all you have to do. Everyone is you pushed out. However you expect someone to show up is how they show up. That is a basic freaking law. Use that however you want to use it. Use it to your advantage. Just don't like sit there and create conditions around these laws or conditions around your circumstances that are going to prevent you from getting things that are going to prevent these laws from working in your favor. Everything is meant to work for you in your favor. This is your world. We're all just living in it. Don't forget that. That's like one of my mantras that I live by. This is my world and everyone else is just living in it. Okay, and with that, I'm not sure how short or long this video was. I've been filming for a really long time. I've had to keep stopping because of the construction noise being overbearing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this all made sense and I intend that this was very helpful for you. If you have any questions about anything I just said or you need any advice, if you just want to chat or help me help you figure out what's what's blocking you, what's standing in your way. Like, let's get over this. Let's get your stuff and make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye. Change them in your mind into a different... Holy shit, that scared me.